there's definitely a number of elements to that. One is that if they post their public address on the on their website ad, website, they're going to basically announce that that's their public address and and make it fully open to anybody, potentially hackers or potentially other organizations and groups. Um, so for for us, for example, we create an easy method and system that's not uh, not using this exact same wallet in, wallet um, that's specifically theirs. So there's a lot of technical in integrations. We also do automatic uh, verifications and a number of different things that from a technical standpoint, a lot of merchants just don't have the ability to have those systems. We also run all of our own nodes for every single blockchain and, and coin that requires a, a node to be run. So there's a lot of infrastructure that we supply to a, a merchant or to a user that, that would be not necessarily suitable for a merchant to, to run themselves. What's um, what, what are the benefits of running these nodes? Uh, for us, it allows for the instant sort of settlements. It allows for us to do the verification systems and and gives us the ability to actually have direct access into that into that chain. And when you were talking about this um, providing liquidity, well, what else goes into into making that a reality? Well, there, there's a couple of things. So liquidity, as far as what we're talking about is really what I would consider a settlement. So a settlement, just as say would say a merchant would accept Visa or MasterCard, the settlement is funds in their bank account. So uh, access to accept crypto as a form of payment, which maybe they accept that Bitcoin, and then they want to convert that Bitcoin into their local fiat. And that's the settlement process. So the, in the middle of that, there is a liquidity process because the, con the crypto needs to be converted into, uh, into a fiat. And then we need to settle that fiat into their local bank account. 